Better wear a sweater. My friends, I am here to make a very important and serious statement about Arlo memes. I like him. But there is more to this story, for I do not like all Arlo memes, but let's start at the beginning. Did you know that there are few things in this life that bring me as much joy as all the silly, <laughs> the silly, ridiculous stuff some of you guys cook up with my face in it? It, it brings me so much joy. And it actually still feels a little surreal. It's almost like a... It's like, you know, I see the numbers on the YouTube. It tells me how many people have watched my stuff. I see comments of people who've watched my stuff. But something about seeing a meme, something about the fact that someone knows me well enough and thinks other people will know me well enough to make a joke or something about me, like that's, it, I don't know, it almost makes it a little more real, you know? <laughs> Memes help me feel like my life is real. <laughs> And it's wonderful. And if we're gonna talk about the very first, probably the very first Arlo meme ever, uh, way back in the day, I did a video about spoilers and I told a whole story culminating in the phrase, yeah, but Solid Snake. It's not been around for, a, it's, it's, a, it's been defunct for a while now, uh, but some of you will remember that one. I was genuinely surprised when that became a thing. People were saying, yeah, but Solid Snake all over the place. Sure, they like to go overboard and do it a little bit too much, but it was fun. I, it's, I, it was funny that it was a thing that I said in a video and everybody was saying it. So like, it was fun. Then perhaps a little more predictably, <laughs> I had my uh, my Game Grumps audition video. It was just a video when Barry left Game Grumps. I did like a little a little audition spiel. You know, it was kind of a kind of a joke. And uh, and I mentioned how I could make memes and inside jokes. And so I said, Butternut Squash, yes please. You're welcome. And <laughs> everyone's always trying to get me to say that. And uh, and I made the joke. They're like, Oh, just watch. Everyone's gonna be saying this for a year. And it did happen. It absolutely did happen. That one has persisted probably even longer. And um, I, I will say, I will tell you guys, I said in the video that everyone would say it for a year, and it's been a year, so technically you could stop saying it now. Um, it's not necessarily true, because I said everyone would say it for a year. Now it's been over a year, but not everyone is saying it. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean some people can't say it. Whatever the case. So that, that one was, uh, that was also uh, fun. It was fun seeing a... Uh, people go into the game game grumps is like current videos and spamming <laughs> spamming butternut squash yes please in the comments and like everybody else was so confused <laughs> like nobody understood what was going on so that was a little funny i i enjoyed that i like the memes you guys i like the memes i like you i love you all give me a bigger hug but now is where things get serious just kidding. Nothing about this video is overly serious. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. And I, and I need to make that clear here. See, I'm, I'm about to tell you a thing that I have been observing that I'm not a really big fan of, but you have to know that I'm not going to demand that anyone stop or anything like that, you know? I'm not gonna be like, you guys hurt my feelings. You better stop now. Absolutely not. Anyone on the internet can do whatever they want. I just thought I would uh, kind of just put my feelings out there just so you know just this is one time i'll ever say it i won't even go on about it later i'm not gonna go on twitter and be telling people not to this is the one time i will air my grievances with this uh this kind of thing i'm not gonna use any hard examples here i don't want to call out any specific people or make anyone feel bad or anything like that so sorry i'm not gonna put like the examples on the screen but if you've been on twitter you've you've probably seen them all now this all started back in September when there was a certain Nintendo Direct that I thought was only okay. I'm not gonna go over the whole entire thing. I talked about that in my, my end of year 2019 review video. Not gonna go over the whole thing, but basically I just didn't think it was that great. Didn't think it was bad. I just kind of thought it was okay. And it was wrapped up with this whole thing where I had been joking on Twitter about how I was predicting Pikmin 4, but it was a joke. Uh, obviously I can't actually predict things. And so when I didn't get Pikmin 4, I was like, oh no, no Pikmin 4. And some people took that too seriously. They took that <laughs> as me actually legitimately complaining that there was no Pikmin 4. And this whole joke kind of started to happen where if I didn't like something, it was the okay, because the, the title and the thumbnail was okayest direct ever. Cause it's, I don't know, it's just the thing that I named it. And so now anytime I don't like something, it's, oh, it's the, okay, is it the okayest whatever ever? 
and you don't like it because it didn't have Pikmin 4. And um, these are just, I feels like they're not coming from as much of a happy place. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't, especially cause like I'm seeing a lot of this from people who don't even follow me. And then a lot of the replies are from people who don't even follow me, and it's starting to feel like it's mostly just <laughs> actually at my expense, which is fine. You're allowed to make fun of me and talk trash about me, absolutely. Again, just sort of giving my opinion here. Um, the thing is, like, that whole direct thing, I really, it was not a happy time for me, you know, just giving an opinion about a thing, and if your opinion doesn't go with the majority, then people really hate you for it. That, that the same thing happened with my Sonic review. Most people liked it, I didn't like it, so suddenly, uh-oh, you're the minority, that means you're wrong, so then a lot of people send a lot of hate your way. So like, I didn't really enjoy everything surrounding that, so whenever I see a thing suggesting like, oh, was it only the okayest Animal Crossing Direct ever, because whatever, I don't really like it. It just doesn't feel nice. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't really feel fun to me. And then in particular, over the last like few weeks, the uh, the Pikmin 4 one, where, oh, Pikmin 4 wasn't at the end of whatever, wasn't in this totally unrelated thing, so Arlo got mad. And like, okay, it's a little bit funny, I guess, but like, it's that thing where it kind of goes too far. Because here's the thing, here's like, here's the main issue, is that people will make memes about this idea They'll even like make fake tweets where I complain about how there was no Pikmin 4. And I think that people who don't follow me don't always get that these are jokes. I literally see replies all the time of people thinking it's legitimate and like chiding me for it and being like, I can't believe this guy won't <laughs> shut up about Pikmin 4. I keep getting that now. I can't even mention it without people like getting mad at me. And it's like, I'm not saying it as much as, <laughs> as much as people think that I am. I'm not. Most of this is fake memes of stuff I've not been doing. It's just an issue where if there are some people who already see me as this like whiny, negative guy who just like, all I want is Pikmin and I don't care about anything else. And like, it's it's not true. It's, I mean like, <laughs> you're allowed to have an opinion about me, but some of that is objectively untrue. I like a number of different games. I make many positive videos about those games, uh, but it like, it kind of perpetuates that idea that I'm just this whiny guy and all I want is Pikmin and I hate everything that's not Pikmin because people who don't stick around and actually watch my videos and see that I'm not that guy, they're just seeing these memes. They're just seeing people talking about it. And so that's just, it is um, it is perpetuating a somewhat damaging reputation. You know what I mean? And so that's where I've just been, like I said, over the last few weeks, I just, I get a lot of, uh, like sometimes they're jokes. Sometimes I'll see people, it seems like they're probably just doing it in good fun. But then like every time I tweet something or make a video, I keep getting these comments that feel progressively more hateful and spiteful, where they're like openly mocking me. Like, oh, what's wrong? It wasn't Pikmin 4, you know what I mean? Like, and, and then I check, yeah, they're they're not a follower. <laughs> like sometimes these people will come back again and again. Oh, oh what's it Pikmin 4? Was it the okay, so whatever. Oh, you didn't like it just because it wasn't Pikmin 4. It's just, you know what I mean? It's just, it's this weird thing that's just kind of, perpetuating and the more people feed into it the more it's becoming that and it's turning me into a something of a monster if you know what i mean no i'm a monster but a different kind of monster <laughs> you get what i'm saying another kind of weird thing is like when someone makes a thing about me and like it's mostly just kind of hating on me and then everyone starts tagging me in it don't do that that's just a little it's just a little piece of advice that like if you see someone ragging on a content creator you follow don't tag them just to bring them into the discussion, especially because then like they'll just get dozens and dozens per day <laughs> pointing them to that thing. It's like, okay, yeah, I get it. Thanks. Thanks for, for bringing me, bringing me into the conversation, I guess. So I don't know. That's where I'm coming from. Like I said, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to cry about it. I'm not going to make people stop or whatever. I just kind of wanted to get that out there. Uh, memes and jokes and stuff talking about how I don't like anything but Pikmin 4. I didn't like such and such because it didn't have Pikmin 4 news or something was the okayest, whatever. Not a massive fan of those. Um, I do like things talking about how I want Pikmin, how I like, how I am looking forward to Pikmin 4 news. You know, like that's... That's totally fine. There's, there's a line between those two where like, you know, one is perpetuating this idea that I'm a child and all I want is Pikmin. And the other is just, I want it a lot. <laughs> and it's just exaggerating that fact. And that's true. I do want it a lot. That's fine. I like that a lot. 
any of the other stuff about just the games that I do like is totally fine. I'm, I mean, okay. Well, I'm also not a big fan of when they get like kind of graphic in various ways, especially when people like make fake tweets and put kind of words in my mouth about like things that I would not say, that I would, I'll just say are not on brand. Not a big fan of those. <laughs> not a big fan of those. Because again, like who's to know that they're fake? People who don't know me see them and they're like, oh, look at that, that guy, he's actually going insane now. <laughs> he's literally going insane and so would you call the police? Anyway. Well, thank you all for watching. And I must say I am going to be legitimately sad if there is not a flood an absolute deluge of Arlo memes in the in the comments and the Twitter replies of this video. That's it's very important to me, and that's what I'm hoping happens. I can't get my hopes up, but you know, if you guys if you guys got any spare Arlo memes lying around, throw them my way. Why not? Anyway, thank you for watching. I love you. Even if you made a meme talking about how I would do something horribly violent if I didn't get news about Pikmin 4. <laughs> really a little, a little out of control there, but I love you anyway, even if you're one of those people. And I will catch you all later. Please have a wonderful day.